don't look. Boop is bored. Boop, are you bored? Are you bored? She gets bored every night. Boop, we go through this every night. What's the matter? Huh? She she does this little thing. She goes boing, 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 boing. And then she'll walk over there and watch me take a shower at night. And as soon as I turn the water off, she starts yelling at me. Boop. Boop. I don't know. So I haven't been around much, and I do apologize for that. Um, I'm good. I've just, like I say, I've been busy, and I feel bad because I don't, I don't make videos on here anywhere near as much as, as I used to. But honestly, lately I've been feeling kind of burned out. I know that when when I start thinking about making a video, and I just, I don't want to. Like I just feel tired. I know I need to slow down because once it starts to become a chore. And it's just something I have to do. It's not something I want to do anymore. It's time to kind of take it easy for a little bit. And I've gotten that way with the other channel a little bit. And when I start getting that way, at the very least, I kind of take a bit of a comment vacation. Like, I quit reading comments for a while. Um, and I just I just don't, uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't feel like doing stuff. And so, I mean, I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm tired I'm stretched too thin and I've done it to myself and I'm really bad to do that. So I don't know what I need to do other than the fact that I need to just, you know, quit trying to be Wonder Woman seven days a week and I need to just take a break a little bit. I'm taking a break tomorrow night because I've already made I've already made tomorrow night's video and I've already scheduled it. We're looking at novelty candy. I went into this gas station and they have this big section of just weird candy in there. Just like novelty type candies. So I bought a bunch of it. It was so funny too because I had like almost $40 worth of this candy. And I, I have it just like this double handful of weird candy. And I go up to the register and I just kind of lay it all on the counter. And the guy looks at me like, you're not, you're not buying all that, are you? You're not serious. Like, no, I am. I'm buying, I'm buying all of that. I, <laughs> I bought like $40 worth of that shit. Anyway, we made a video looking at it. And, uh, and it's scheduled to publish tomorrow night. And tonight I'm doing a TV guide video. I have a TV guide that's nearly, it's almost, it's just a few weeks away from being 40 years old. And uh, so I'm going to show you that. I'm doing a video with that. It's processing right now, so that's why I'm talking to you. But I wanted to show you, and we're going to look at it together because I haven't opened it yet. I bought a new pillow. It's a no BS. It's a knobs pillow. A knobs pillow. I saw it online and it's supposed to be this wonderful pillow. I don't know. I have, I'm going to tell you though, I have the best pillow and I love it. I got it at Goodwill, but it was, it's not used. But sometimes they have this new merchandise and they had these, um, bamboo memory foam pillows and they're heavy. They're like really heavy and dense and I really like it. I've developed a weird problem with it though and I don't know what it is. If I lie on my right side my ear hurts like you know if you've been on the phone for a long time your ear feels all like, like it should be purple and it just hurts you know like that but my left side I can lay on my left side all night and it doesn't hurt and I for the life I flipped the pillow over I've washed it fluffed it smacked it up, flipped it, rubbed it down, and it just, it doesn't seem to matter. I don't know if it's the pillow or if it's me. So I was kind of, you know, I wasn't looking for a new pillow. I think that one, I may just, I have another one in the attic. And these pillows, they had them, they were brand new in these, you know, cylindrical tubes. You take about and it expands. And they had them at Goodwill for like $22 a piece. And I, I went back and I bought several more because I liked them so much. So I have I have extras in the attic if I can't. This one I've been using for quite a while. If I can't figure out what the deal is with it. Because I get tired of sleeping on my left side all the time. I'm a side sleeper. I don't do well sleeping on my back and I cannot sleep on my stomach. I just cannot do it. Um, if I sleep on my back a whole lot, I end up with a backache. So, boop, I cannot help you. I cannot help you. What do you want? She's bored. She, when she's bored, she will come in here and she just paces around in here. 
and then she she gets to the point she can't take it she'll start destroying things and that's when I throw her out and she goes on down the hall I don't know what she does after that but she gets very destructive at night she just comes in here and she's bored and she just start chewing on things and scratching things and man I don't know so um anyway I saw this pillow and it was I read some of the reviews and people really seemed to like it so I figured I'd try it so we have a no BS pillow this is not a huge I mean it's supposed to be you know a good size pillow it must be like you know because the one I have was like shrink you know like suctioned you know vacuum sealed or whatever they do kind of like a you know like you get a memory foam mattress and it's the same thing you have to cut it open and it has to expand so I normally cut this part out I don't give a shit on this channel okay let's look at the no BS pillow how much was this thing I'm thinking it was like $65 for this no BS pillow my Goodwill pillow hell I could have gotten almost three of those for the cost of this one they didn't come from Goodwill I don't remember who made them it was some company I never heard of but they are the best pillows and I've had pillows that cost way more that were not as good as that one um okay come on we're going to look at the knobs pillow if I can get into it here. Okay. So, it's a piece of cardboard in there for no damn reason. All right, babe. What's she, she's sitting over here like, what are you doing? It's okay, babe. Okay. Yeah, it's like vacuum sealed. So, comes in. Oh, that's nice. That's like that. Oh, that's like that uh, Ollie's plastic on the big rolls of carpet. I really need to get back there and do some more carpet massage and people love it. They either love those videos or they hate them. What the hell are you doing? ASMR, bitch! I guess the technical term for it. All right, so, yeah, this is nice plastic. I'm, I'm impressed by the plastic. So there's a, there's a, oh, they wrote us a letter, look. The No BS Pillow. Dear customer, we'd like to express our genuine gratitude for choosing the No BS Pillow. They didn't sponsor me. I just bought one. Your purchase... Quit chewing on that. Your purchase allow, allows us to continue following our passion, helping the world sleep comfortably one pillow at a time. Please cut open the plastic carefully. Allow up to two hours for the pillow to expand. Shit, in two hours, I hope to be dead to the world. It's almost 10 o'clock now. You have full control over the firmness. How the hell do you control firmness in a pillow? Take out some filling for a softer feel or to lower the height. Oh, you can change the filling in this thing. Add some of the extra filling for a firmer feel or to raise the height. Well, isn't that something? I have a cat hair on me. Put your favorite pillowcase on it or enjoy the plushness without a pillowcase. I'll be putting a pillowcase on it because I drool like I got something wrong with me. Keep your extra filling in a safe place in case you need to adjust your pillow in the future. Please join our mission by spreading the word and letting your friends and family know how they too can finally experience a relaxing and restful sleep with a no BS pillow. Trademark. We appreciate you. Well, don't appreciate me yet. I ain't tried your shit. You may not appreciate me if I don't like it. I'm very picky about pillows. I am. I, well, once I found those memory foam bamboo pillows at Goodwill, and I, this was several years ago, I love them. I got rid of all the other pillows I had. There's, that's the letter. Okay. This must be the extra stuffing. No, it's, yeah, it's in a drawstring bag. It looks like... So, I want to see what this, maybe I should go ahead and let the pillow start to expand. So, this plastic is kick-ass. That's nice plastic. Okay, I'm sorry. Let me, uh, see. Whoop, it's standing up on its own. Don't cut that tag, they'll call the police. And they'll come to your door and arrest you if you cut that tag. It's against the law. It's actually not. It's 
the consumer can remove it, but the seller cannot. Okay. So this is the knobs pillow. Looks like a giant pill. <laughs> Doesn't look very thick at the moment. Of course, we did just take it out of that shrink wrap, so or I guess it. I guess it fluffs up. They said give it up to two hours to expand. It does have this nice, soft kind of a plush feeling cover on it. Oh, I would totally put a pillowcase on that. Oh, my drool wants to get on that so bad. I do. I drool like I just had dental surgery every night. I just, it's just, you know, like that. There's a comedian that says something about, you know, my pillowcase looks like a piece of gauze from the Civil War. That's pretty, that's a pretty good description. Like a piece of bandage from the Civil War. That's terrible. I'm sorry. All right, well, I'm going to lay that in my lap. We're going to take a look at this. Um, okay. This is the extra stuffing. I wonder how much stuffing we get. I've never had a customizable pillow before. I mean, you get what you get. It's go, It's already starting to... Look at it. It puffed right out. Just whoop. <laughs> that's a happy little bag. Look at that. A little drawstring on it. Huh. Ooh. Smells like old spaghetti or something. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have breathed that in. Now I'm going to get silicosis or something. Look at it. <coughs> So this is the stuffing. You don't want it, boo. It's not food. This is, okay, so you can just pull it out by the fistfuls. It's just a bag full. You can make your, you can make a second pillow out of that. Little, little thing here. I do have some pillowcases that are like king size. They're really long. It would work for this. Yeah, hell, it's fluffing up on its own. Look, it's already fluffed out. Look at that. God, it just went whoop. <laughs> let me go let her out. Hang on. Okay, I've let her out. We, we go through this every night. She, she screams to get in here, and I let her in here. She'll go get in the tub. She'll sit in the tub for a while, and then she'll come out, and then she goes all around, and then she's frustrated because there's nothing to play with or nothing to interest her. And then she'll start chewing on things, and then I have to put her out. Okay, so the pillow, I didn't fluff it or anything. I haven't, I haven't done anything to it. It's nice. I mean, I will try it initially without putting any more stuffing in it. You got to give it two hours to fluff out. It's kind of rounded. Look, it's kind of rounded. How do you open it? So it's got their little tag here. It says knobs, pillow. Um, there's God. Yeah, there's a zipper. It's under the tag that you can't remove under penalty of law. Under penalty of law, this tag is not to be removed, but you see the line right under that. It says, except by the consumer. That's me. All new material consisting of 100% PP cotton. It says PP cotton. The hell does that mean? Certification, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Finished size, 14 inches by 26 inches. The cover is made of 95% polyester, 5% spandex. The filling is 100%. PP cotton. I'm not just making that up. PP cotton. Where does it say that? I'm not a textile person. I don't know what the hell PP cotton is. <laughs> Sounds unappealing. Where the hell did it go? Oh, yeah. Right above Made in China. 100% PP cotton. Okay. PP cotton. I don't want to put my face on this white pill. I still got makeup on. I don't want to mash it on there. But it has a nice velvety cover on it. It's not very thick. Now, see, my the, my bamboo memory foam pillow is really thick, but it's not, I mean, it's not uncomfortable at all. I'm looking at it and talking about it like you can see what I'm looking at. You can't see what the hell I'm looking at. This is very different from the pillow I've been using, but I'm going to give it some time. I will update you on it. Get, let's, um, I probably won't use it tonight because I really, as soon as this video gets done editing and I do everything I gotta do, how long has it got? 
shit, it's got 40 more minutes. That's what happens. See, I work all day. I get off work. I go to an exercise class. I come home. I make dinner. I eat. Like tonight, I usually eat while I'm preparing the meal. And then the kids eat. And then I have to haul ass up here. I have to get the video done. I have to edit it. It has to process. And while it processes, I do other stuff. Like I, I, I get up. I am out of here by 7 a.m. every morning. I don't have any downtime and I am getting to the point that it is starting to get to me a little bit. Like I feel like I'm always on the run. I'm always running. I don't ever get to sit down to relax and it's just, it's starting to get to me a little bit. Um, but tomorrow night will be better because Glenda the Good Witch and I are watching two more episodes of Better Call Saul. We got to figure out where we're getting our food from. I'm not sure yet. We get food, you know, we'll like go somewhere and get something and bring it back here to eat. I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. I don't know where we're getting our food, but we'll figure it out. So anyway, that, you know, at least for tomorrow night, I will not be making any videos tomorrow night. And after we watch that, I can just take the rest of the evening and just, you know, chill out and um, not do anything. So tomorrow night, I'm looking forward to not really doing anything. So that would be most excellent. That's what I'm planning to do. But I really, I know I do too much. I know I'm too busy. Most of the time it doesn't bother me. It's weird. It's like it won't bother me. And then all of a sudden it bothers me a whole lot. It's not a gradual thing. I'm either not bothered at all or I'm about ready to just smack somebody. I am so irritable. And I know it's because I'm just, I'm burnt out. I'm extending myself too much. And, and that's when I just become cranky. And I know I need to back off. Something's got to give. Like I got to back off on something. Is it fluff? I mean, can you tell? Has it? I think it has fluffed out some. Oh, I mean, it's definitely fluffed out since we first got it out of the, the plastic. It does feel thicker now. It does. And I haven't been fluffing it or doing anything to it. I'm just leaving it in my lap, letting it sit. I like this cover, this nice plush cover. This is so nice. But yeah, I would definitely, I'm definitely putting a pillowcase over it because I don't, I, I don't want to mess it up. But, and I'm cutting that off. Y'all want to see me breaking the law? Breaking the law. I'm not breaking the law because I'm the consumer. Look at, oh, it fell over. Stop. <laughs> yeah, so I guess when you want to adjust the stuff and you just, there's a little hidden zipper. Here's the little pull. It's right there. You just open it and take some out or you put some more in. I've never seen a pillow that would let you do that. So that's interesting. I mean, it's just like polyfill, like the stuff that goes in pillows, you know, like throw pillows or stuffed animals or whatever. I don't know what's so special about it. It's very light. I like it. It's very lightweight. This, this cover is just killing me. It is so dang soft. But yeah, I got this. I think it was like $65, including tax and if there was a shipping charge, I don't remember. But I think the total was about $65. Because I, I am desperate to try to find a way that I can sleep on my right side without my ear killing me. Like, it's the same kind of feeling like when you've been on the phone. Do you remember back when we had landlines? I haven't had, a, the last time I had a landline was in like 2008. I haven't had a landline since then. I've just used my cell phone for everything, which I know it's probably not, you know, you know, in case of an emergency or something, you might want a landline. But I just, I did away with it because every month or so my bill would go up another dollar another dollar another 50 cents whatever the bill just kept going up and i had like basic service it didn't even it didn't have long distance or anything but the bill just kept creeping up and i got sick of it so i just canceled it and just used my cell phone for everything anyway um what was i saying yeah like when you talk on the phone for a long time and then your ear just hurts <laughs> it feels exactly like that it's just the pressure on your ear you don't feel it right away. It doesn't hurt right away. It takes a while. But it's only on this side. This side is fine. And it doesn't matter if I flip the pillow over, turn it, fluff it up, wash it, tumble it. It makes no difference. It doesn't seem to matter. So I thought I would just try something new. I even bought one of those little pillows. It's called a piercing pillow that has a circle. It's like a little donut, you know. 
but it's too thick on top of that pillow. But without the pillow, it's not enough and it, it didn't work out. But if I ever get a piercing, I have a perfect little pillow for it. It's, it's really cute. Bought it on Amazon. You can buy piercing pillows, I had no idea. But I said, I need something like that where my ear will just, because what I do, just out of desperation, I will sleep with my hand like this, kind of cradling my ear to take the pressure off of it. But then my face gets all sweaty from my hand being on it. And it's like, I, these are the stupid problems that I deal with. It's this little shit right here that starts to get on my nerves. Just dumb little problems. And I, I hate little stupid problems. That's why I try to solve them. Like I want to find, there's a solution to the stupid problem. I know there is. And then I can go on with my life and this won't be a problem anymore. So I'm going to try the no BS pillow. Ain't no bullshit in this pillow. You know I don't like bullshit. The older you get, the less tolerance you're going to have for it. I promise. You think you have no tolerance now? Wait till you get older. You will have absolutely no tolerance for just stupid things. I just... I don't have any patience for it anymore. It's kind of funny how it's all rounded. Like, it looks like a big old peel. Like a, <laughs> oh, it is getting lumpy. Look at it. Is it, gets it. is it fluffing out at all? I mean, it hasn't been very long. You're supposed to give it two hours. I don't know. But we're going to see how it does. I'm going to put a cover on it. I may try it tonight, depending on how long this damn video takes to process. While it finishes up, I'm going to go. I've already picked out my clothes for tomorrow. I don't need to pack my gym bag for tomorrow because I'm not going tomorrow. But I got to get everything out in it that's in it and deal with that. Get my shower. How long has it got now? 36 minutes. Okay. I have time to do all that. And I try to get everything done that I can while it's processing. And then hopefully I can go to bed before midnight. That's my goal. Sometimes I don't make it. But that alarm goes off no matter what time I go. It does not care what time I went to bed. It goes off the same time every weekday morning. It doesn't care what time I went to sleep. And so, yeah. But last weekend I had a lot of fun at a, a fitness sleepaway boot camp for adults. It was a lot of fun. Yes, I, I've heard that the electric slide refers to the sex because everything refers to the sex. Everything's about the sex. Um, I don't give a rat's ass. You don't need to tell me. I don't care. People nitpicking the whole thing about the electric slide has made me not want to talk about it at all. So I'm not going to talk about my weekend at all. I had a good time. That's all that I have to say about it because you've ruined the electric slide for me. I finally got up the nerve to do that and I never could do it when I was younger when it first came out because I was too afraid of making a fool of myself. But at 50, I finally decided it was okay and I was going to try it anyway and I, I learned how to do it. And I don't give a fuck what the song refers to. I don't care if it refers to the sex. That wasn't the point of me telling you about it, but I'm glad you found some way to be special. I don't know. But that's all I want to say about it because now I'm kind of irritable because people... I had to block like 10 people when I posted the picture of the carrot and I told you about the electric slide. People got really weird about it um, and it just kind of left a bad taste in my mouth and I decided I wasn't going to talk about it at all if that's the way people are going to be. But I'm going to try the pillow. I may try it tonight. I may go ahead and put a pillowcase on it. It feels like it's not thick enough though. I don't know. I don't like a flat pillow. I mean, I don't know. It'll continue to fluff up. It really fluffed right there. Look at it. It's bulging. She's talking about sex. Everything's not sex, you know. Sometimes a bulge is just a bulge. It don't mean shit. I'm in a weird mood tonight. I just wanted to show you my no BS pillow for my no BS life because that is just the way I like it. I am tired that's it. I'm tired. I'm just tired. I don't have the energy for anything extra these days. Why is that leaning like that? Hmm. But everybody's good. The cats are fine. I'm fine. thought I was getting sick last week. I'm not. I'm okay. I didn't have a heart attack. It's not menopause. I don't know what the hell it was. It might have just been an acute allergy attack of some sort because there is just pollen everywhere. I mean, you will choke when you walk outside from all the damn pollen out there. It is 
awful right now. It is just, my car is yellow. It has a yellow cast to it. If you look out over the hood, it's just pale yellow. And I don't have a yellow car. Well, I, this time of year, everybody has a yellow car around here. It may have just been an allergy attack. I'm not really sure, but I'm fine. I didn't get sick or anything. I'm good. And, uh, yeah, so there's not really, is there anything else going on? Not, well, I have a dentist appointment coming up. That's about the most exciting thing I have going on is I do have a dental appointment coming up. And work is good. It's just very challenging some days, and I'm very tired when I get off work. And, um, you know, if all I had to do was make YouTube videos, it would be different. But I have to work 40 hours a week on top of that. And I have kids here, and some days it's just, I don't know. It makes me irritable. You know, it's not, it's not, I don't know. I, I just, I don't know. Something's got to give, but I don't know what. i got to figure out something. But anyway, I wanted to show you my pillow and let you know that I'm still alive. I am here, sort of, and we're going to, I'm going to check this out. And I will let you know in a few days what I thought of the pillow and if I added any stuff into it or not. We'll see. But thank you so much for watching and for being here. I'm sorry I'm kind of a crusty person tonight. I'm just, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm very tired. But I hope your week is going well. I think about y'all even though I, I don't, a lot of times I just don't have the bandwidth. I do not have the, the ability to really make a video and here lately this in the mornings I've just been listening to the radio on the way to work I don't feel like talking to anybody and and I'm always hoping that when I get to work nobody is going to be in a talkative mood usually I'm one of the first ones there but sometimes I come in and there will be other people already there and some people are just super duper talkative first thing in the morning and I'm just like don't don't I mean I can't say that but I'm thinking please just not all these words. It's not even eight o'clock. Not, no, not all these words. Not yet. And it just, ugh. Stop. Let me just sit here for a minute, you know, because I get to work early so I can do my Wordle and drink my Pepsi and just enjoy a few minutes of peace and quiet. I can leisurely scroll through my email. I don't have to jump into anything right away. And that's just the way I like to do it but I don't want anybody talking to me. <laughs> but sometimes I have to talk whether I want to or not. It's just one of those things in life that you just have to do. Even when you don't feel like it, you just have to do it anyway. It's very soft. I do like it. Yeah, it's definitely fluffing up. I mean, I can, I can already tell a difference in it. It's lumpy. The ad said it would be, though. The ad said it's a lumpy pillow, but it won't bother you when you're sleeping. We'll see about that, by God, because I can't stand a lumpy pillow. Well, we'll see how this does. It's very springy. I don't know if that's good or bad. We're going to find out. I tried one of those. What was it? They uh, There's a pillow that you can get that has, like, buckwheat husks in it or something. I tried one of those. I didn't like it. It was supposed to give you good neck support and it didn't get hot or something. I hated that damn thing. I hated that pillow. I, it was fine for a few weeks and then it just got to where every night I would just have this excruciating... I would wake up and my neck would just be killing me. Awful. So I got rid of that one. I've gone. I've tried several. I, I don't know. But the one I found at Goodwill, the... Uh, and again, it was new. It wasn't used or anything. This memory foam bamboo whatever pillow is just the best thing ever. And I'm glad I bought extras because I haven't seen them at Goodwill since. And that was several years ago. But I do have a couple extras in the attic if I need them. But it's going to be springtime here in about, what, an hour? It will officially be spring. Yee, happy spring. Okay, I got to go. But thank you so much for watching and for being here. I hope you have an awesome week, and I'll, I'll let you know about the pillow, and I'll see you again soon.